and welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle and I'm a first year in college. Today and probably for the next few days I will be making a hanging plant. This is an idea because I want to make a video about decorating my dorm room with different crochet things and I wanted to crochet some plants so that I don't actually have to take care of the plants and they won't ever die. But my roommate had the best idea ever and she's not here right now but she was like you should make one of those hanging plants but as a purse. And I thought I would take you guys through kind of the process of creating it. Today is actually a fun day because my college has a fiber arts club and that starts in a few minutes. So I thought I would go bring you guys all there. We can see what other people are making as I begin this project. And then I will continuously update you guys. If you guys want a tutorial for how I make this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to film one for you. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I want to show you is the design that I drew up for this. So the first thing I thought about was like when I'd be wearing it and what kind of stuff I want to put in it. That way I can see like how sturdy does the strap need to be and stuff like that. So this is just going to be like for thrifting, going to festivals, picnics type activities. So I know that I need to be bringing a wallet, and journals, notebooks type stuff in here. I also don't really think I want it to be that big. Then here's the design. So this is what it should look like clothes, like one of the hanging plants. And then it should open so that the soil comes up and all the leaves are on the back side, like it flips up. And so I think I want to just sew around here halfway so I can just lift up half of it and then put stuff in the other half. And it won't exactly close all the way, I don't think, but I'm still kind of thinking about that as I'm making it. So for the actual plant, I'm thinking this for the soil and maybe these two greens. I like the idea of having two contrasting greens. And then I don't exactly know what I'm gonna use for the other parts, but these two are my roommate's yarns and I need to ask her if I can use them. But I think this would be a good color for the pot. It's like an off-white. And then possibly adding some flowers out of purple. I feel like that would be cute. I got it now. <laughs> it's like, you don't need to I'm it. making the pot <laughs> based off the size of my roommate's like mug. <laughs> and this is the top two. Gab has been teaching me how to do a ribbed thingy for my pastel cardigan. <laughs> Isn't this such a ladybug? It is really cute. This is my first ever crochet project. What His is name is Winston and he is a worm. <laughs> I used to have a worm on a string that almost exact color. I'm Maggie and I've just started knitting. And I've been working on this for about a year and uh, it's it's lovely. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm Gabriel's roommate, by the way. You'll see more of me. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, I'm working on a top. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Sophie. I'm embroidering something for my roommate. It's gonna say her name, it's gonna have a little heart around it, and it has cowboy boots because she's very yeehaw. Hi, I'm Julia. I'm working on the first basic steps of knitting because it's all I remember how to do. <laughs> Look at my, it's a boob cup. <laughs> what if I did? This is my uh, plant bowl. So Brigham far. Young. So this is kind of the size of the pot that I want to make and the shape and everything. And this is what I made. I think it's. I think I need one more row. And I think for the last row, I'm gonna do a little bit of decreases, just a little bit. I think I'm gonna try to find some sort of fabric to put on the inside and like hand sew it in there, so that the shape stays how I want it to be. But I also don't have any shirts that I can cut up or anything to sew on the inside. So I might have to go thrifting for a piece of fabric. Birthday cake flavor, Ryan. Did you hear me talking about how I like birthday cake and everyone was like, that's disgusting. Yeah, because I was the one saying that's disgusting. Oh. Why does she look like a little bit? We just, we need to sew something in there. That's what's going what? on. Like whenever I crochet, things have to be perfect and this is not working. Here's the little pot. I think that's beautiful. I was like considering like for the edge, should I just leave it like that? Or should I do something where it like rolls over? Yeah, maybe, oh yeah, I'll try slip stitches around. I like that, it makes it look more finished. Okay. Is this deep enough? It is. It's like, I think the point is less to actually carry a bunch of stuff and more like... Like, like I have a little purse. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So next I need to make the soil. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna get to the right size. Have you had the birthday cake house before? No, but I'm assuming that they're terrible. I'll try it by, I'll try it by. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, what I was expecting it to look like, I don't think it's her. 
it's the next day and I wanted to show you guys what I completed last night. So something like this. Today, my goal is to finish all of the leaves for everything. I think I want to do like the string of pearls and then I want to do like some fern leaves with the darker green. And I think this green is so pretty and it's going to look so cute with the string of pearls type plants. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to do that for my brain. There was a tutorial but I watched it briefly and now I kind of get the idea. So I'm just going to make it from what I remember. Okay, so I think I'm doing it wrong so I have a tutorial <laughs> This is the most loops I've ever had on my hook at once. It's 11. I'm gonna make some varying lengths so that there's a little bit for some and longer for others. So I'm gonna go crochet some more of the string of pearls while I'm in class. So my little shape here keeps kind of deflating a little bit, so I wanted to cut out a piece of cardboard and lay it at the bottom to keep the bottom flat. So I'm going to see if I can attach cardboard to the back half of this. And in order to do that, I had to stab a needle through the outsides of the cardboard so that way I could end up sewing through it. Here I am just sewing part of my top bed sheet into my plant bag. So I kind of collected all of the plants and I'm just going to tie them all together at the top. So I already kind of sewed this fabric on, but I think I can stab through it. Needle through. I don't know how I'm going to pull a lot of yarn through there. Okay, I kind of try to tear it a little bit bigger. So now I need to thread like 11 strings through here. Okay, so I just had a realization. I tied these all together. But then how am I going to get that knot through here? It's not going to work. And also, once it is through there, how am I going to make it secure on this side? Then I was like, okay, what if I just thread all of the strings individually through here and then put the knot on this side so it can't come out? So I think that's what I'm going to do. Then I had to untie this and I pulled each of these strands really hard individually so that the knot would be like really tight. So now I'm really annoyed at myself. Okay, so all of the plants have been threaded through. There's no knot yet, but I'm just gonna tie all of these into a big knot so that it won't go back through at all. Okay, so this is what it looks like now in the back. So <laughs> there's still a hole. And if I have extra thread, I might just sew the hole back up. So then you don't know that anything even happened. And so this part is the flimsy part that comes up and this part has the cardboard in it. So I'm gonna sew just from the cardboard half circle to the inside and then this part is going to stay so that it can open. I'm going to use thread instead of yarn to sew. I like thread because you can't really see it and if I were to do this outside color yarn to sew them together you'd be able to see on the border of the brown which can still look like oh, it's stitched together. Okay, so this is what the plant looks like. Everything is sewn in together. Everything is dangling around. This part is the part that opens up. You can just move that away. And then that's the inside. At this point, I decided that the string of pearls was really adorable just on their own. And I thought if I made fern leaves, that it would kind of mess it up. So for my first plant purse ever, I just wanted to keep it with the simple string of pearls. And now I'm going to figure out the straps. I want them to be sturdy, but obviously we're not going to be carrying too much in here anyway. So they don't have to be too thick. And I think they should be on the sides where the, where it opens up. I need to figure out how long as well. Um, are you good at revising uh, essays? On the occasion. One out of every five essays I revise is good. <laughs> I feel like the way that I am, I'm like such, I'm too nice. So like whenever yeah. I revise, I don't want to like be like, I'm like maybe over if you it. kind of wanted to sort of maybe just maybe you could like add a comma here this like this sentence is well. not <laughs> correct at all like no I just you fall well I'd be like maybe you could make this make sense just a little bit maybe sorry like <laughs> I have an essay due tonight <laughs> yeah that I wrote this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs>